Bam. Bam. Hello. I've gathered you here today. We're gonna recreate some movie scripts and episode scripts with ChatGPT. Welcome to ChatGPT. Bikini Bottom Day. I don't know what that is. We see SpongeBob walking down the street, a big smile on his face. He has hearts in his eyes and is humming a love song. He approach slow down, ChatGPT. He approaches Patrick's rock and knocks on it. SpongeBob in a giddy voice. Patrick, my dear friend, I have something important to tell you. Patrick peeks out from his rock, looking less than thrilled. Patrick, what's up, SpongeBob? SpongeBob. Blushing. Patrick, I don't know how to say this, but I love you madly, passionately, with every fiber of my being. <laughs> Patrick, in an alarmed voice, SpongeBob, what are you talking about? I'm not interested in you that way. SpongeBob, smi <laughs> Sp <laughs> SpongeBob's smile fades as he realizes the truth of Patrick's words. SpongeBob, in a deflated voice, Oh, I see. Sorry, Patrick, I'll go now. Spongebob turns to leave, head hung low, but as he walks away, we see Sandy Cheeks spying on them from behind a nearby rock. She looks furious. Sandy to herself. How dare Spongebob love anyone but me? I have to do something about this. Cut to... In the Krusty Krab Day. Holy shit, this script is wrong. Mr. Krabs and Plankton are arguing as usual. Mr. Krabs is counting his money and Plankton is plotting to steal the secret formula. Mr. Krabs, in a chuckling voice, you'll never get your hands on me formula, Plankton. It's too valuable. Plankton, smirking. Oh, I don't know about that, Mr. Krabs. I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Their argument is interrupted by the rival SpongeBob, who looks even more depressed than before. <laughs> SpongeBob, hey guys. Mr. Krabs, concerned. What's wrong, lad? SpongeBob, sighing. Patrick doesn't love me back. Plankton sneering. Ha! That's what you get for being a fool, SpongeBob. <laughs> uh, Mr. Krabs shaking his head. Now, now, Plankton, that's not a very nice thing to say. Plankton smiling, smiling wickedly. Oh, but it's true, isn't it? SpongeBob is just a love-struck fool. <laughs> SpongeBob looks like he's about to cry. Mr. Krabs and Plankton exchange a meaningful look, then turn back to SpongeBob. Mr. Krabs firmly. SpongeBob, you can't force someone to love you. If Patrick doesn't feel the same way, you have to accept that and move on. Plankton, nodding. Mr. Krabs is right. You need to get over this crush and focus on your work. <laughs> SpongeBob nods sadly. Then shuffles out of the crusty crab. Mr. Krabs and Plankton high five each other. Cut to EXT Bikini Bottom later. Sandy is pacing back and forth, muttering to herself. Sandy angrily. I can't believe SpongeBob loves Patrick. How dare he? I have to make him see that I'm the only one for him. As she's muttering to herself, she bumps into SpongeBob. Sandy sweetly. Oh hey SpongeBob, how's it going? SpongeBob sadly. SpongeBob in her sadly voice. Not great, Sandy. Patrick doesn't love me. Sandy fuming. That's terrible. How could he be so cruel to you? S. S. Alright, I guess. ChatGPT. Oh. ChatGPT. ChatGPT just broke, I guess. A, a huge hate towards Ricky. <laughs> and he constantly blows giant bubbles out, out of his bum. <laughs> out of his 
bomb with the enormous farts that he rips. <laughs> <laughs> Bubbles bum bubbles. Fade in. EXT Sunnyvale trailer park. There. The camera pans across the messy trailer park, focusing on a group of residents gathered around a table in, fo in front of Bubbles' trailer. Bubbles and Ricky are arguing, while Julian and the other residents look in. Bubbles, angrily. I've had enough of your shit, Ricky. You always mess things up for us. Ricky, defensively. What are you talking about, Bubbles? I didn't do anything. Bubbles shouting. You're always getting us into trouble with your stupid schemes. I'm sick of it. Suddenly, Bubbles... <laughs> Suddenly, Bubbles rips a massive fart and a giant bubble emerges from his bum. <laughs> floating towards Ricky's face. <laughs> Ricky, disgusting. <laughs> What the fuck, Bubbles? That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, I can't read this anymore. Bubbles, embarrassed. Sorry, Ricky, I can't get you all in. It's my bum, Bubbles. <laughs> Julian, amused. Bum, Bubbles. That's a new one, Bubbles. It's Julian. <laughs> Bubbles looks humiliated and storms back into his trailer, leaving Ricky and the others behind. Cut to... Int Bubbles' trailer. Day. It didn't even have to cut, it was already in his trailer. But anyway. <laughs> Bubbles is sitting on his couch, feeling sorry for himself. Mr. Leahy suddenly bursts into the trailer, drunk as usual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Leahy slurring. Hey Bubbles, how's it going? Bubbles, irritated. What do you want, Leahy? Mr. Leahy, grinning. Just thought I'd come over for a drink. <laughs> Bubbles, sighing. Fine, have a drink, but don't expect me to join you. As Mr. Leahy starts drinking, Bubbles can't help but stare at the alcohol longingly. Bubbles, resigned. Screw it, give me a drink too. Bubbles starts drinking with Mr. Leahy, drowning his sorrows in alcohol. Got to the XT trailer park day. Ricky's walking around the trailer park, muttering to himself about Bubbles Bum Bubbles. <laughs> Suddenly he sees Julian and the other residents gathered around something. Ricky, curious. Hey, what's going on over there? Julian, excitedly. You gotta see this, Ricky. It's amazing. Ricky walks over and sees Bubbles. Who is now blowing massive bubbles out of his bum with every fart? <laughs> Ricky, amused. <laughs> Holy shit, Bubbles. You're like a human bubble machine. <laughs> bubbles, embarrassed. <laughs> I can't help it, Ricky. It just keeps happening. Julian, grinning. We gotta show this to the world, boys. It's a viral video waiting to happen. The group starts filming Bubbles and his bum bubbles while Bubbles looks mortified. Fade out. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, that was an amazing movie script. <laughs> yeah, that's a good Write a script. Write a... Write an episode script. For... Isn't that Looney Tunes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bugs Bunny. Bunny... Bugs Bunny cannot stop going to... To the liquor store, making him a raging alcoholic. <laughs> Title: Bugs Bunny, Booze Blues. <laughs> Fade in. Ext a liquor store day. Oh, we're at the liquor store. Bugs Bunny is seen exiting the store with a brown paper bag in his hand. He takes a swig from the bottle inside and lets out a contented sigh. Bugs Bunny, audibly. Ah, nothing like a bottle of hooch to start the day off, right? <laughs> Donald Duck. Oh, ass. Shocked. What the? Question mark, exclamation mark. Bugs turns around to see Donald and Daffy standing behind him with their, with their beaks wide open in disbelief. Daffy Duck, angrily. Bugs, how many times do we have to tell you to stop this madness? Bugs the Bunny, defensively. What's the big deal? I can handle my liquor. 
None of that. Skeptical. <laughs> That's not what it looks like to us. Daffy Duck Cross. You're becoming a raging alcoholic. Bugs just shrugs the mom and takes another slate from the bottle. Bugs Bunny cockily. Listen, you two. I'm Bugs Bunny. I can handle anything. <laughs> Donald Duck determined. We won't give up on you, Bugs. Daffy Duck confident. That's right. We'll keep trying until you see sense. Bugs rolls his eyes and takes another swipe from the bottle. He then proceeds to hit Donald and Daffy Duck on the head with it. <laughs> Bugs Bunny, nonchalant. I knight thee. Ow, that really hurts, says Daffy Duck. Donald Duck, grumpy. That's it. I'm out of here. Donald seems off. Donald storms off in a huff, leaving Daffy alone with Bugs. Daffy Duck, stern. Bugs, we're not getting around. You need to stop drinking like this. Bugs Bunny defiant. You're not my mother, Daffy. Daffy Duck annoyed. That's it. I'm taking this to the next level. Daffy storms off, leaving Bugs alone to ponder his actions. Cut to into Porky's pig's house. Nighttime. Porky is seen cowering in his bed, clutching a pillow tightly to his chest. He hears a knock on the door and reluctantly gets up to answer. Porky Pig scared. Uh, who, who's there? Daffy Duck. OS. Oh, no, no, it says OS. Reassuring. It's just me, Porky. Open up. Porky hesitates for a moment before opening the door to reveal Daffy standing outside. Porky Pig. Nervous. Daffy, what brings you here? Daffy Duck in a serious tone. We've got a problem, Porky. Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny's drinking has gotten out of hand. <laughs> Porky Pig shocked. No way. Daffy Duck determined. Yes way. We need to do something before it's too late. Porky nods in agreement and the two of them head off into the night. Cut to EXT the liquor store at night time. Bugs is seen stumbling out of the store with a bottle in his hand. He takes a swig from it and lets out a bad belch. <laughs> Bugs Bunny drunkenly. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to mess with me? I'm Bugs Bunny. Daffy Duck OS. In this episode, Bart is attempting to learn JavaScript. But Homer keeps. Uh, but Homer keeps stumbling over the computer plug. Oops. The computer plug. <laughs> uh, title The Unplugged Programmer. Fade in. The Simpson family is gathered in the living room. Bart is on the computer typing away while Elmer is chugging down his beloved Duff. Bart, excitedly, Hey, Dad, I'm learning JavaScript. Homer, mumbling, That's great, son. Yeah. Bart, frustrated, Ah, as he loses his work through the computer being unplugged. Dad, watch where you're going. Homer, dazed, Huh? What happened? Bart, angry, You unplugged my computer. Now I have to start over from scratch. Homer, defensive, It's not my fault. You shouldn't have put the cord there. <laughs> Bart yelling, I can't believe this, strangles Homer. The room goes silent as Homer falls to the ground in shock, but realizes what he's done and tries to revive his dad. Bart panicked. Dad, wake up. I didn't mean to do it. Marge worried. Oh my goodness, what happened? Lisa horrified. Bart strangled dad. Marge shocked. Oh my. Bart crying. I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't mean to hurt him. Marge comforting. It's okay, Bart. We need to get your dad to the hospital. Cut to the hospital. The Simpsons family is waiting outside the emergency room. The doctor comes out and delivers the news. Doctor, serious. I'm afraid your husband's condition is critical. He's in shock and he, and we don't know how long it will take for him to recover. Marge ter tearfully. Oh, no. Lisa, guilt ridden. I can't believe Bart did this. Bart ashamed. I'm sorry, everyone. Cut to. Homer is seen packing his bags and leaving the house. Uh, Homer upset. I can't stay here anymore. I've been a terrible father to Bart. He deserves better than me. Marge, desperate. Homer, please don't leave. We need you. Homer, defeated. I'm sorry, Marge. I need to go. Cut to Springfield's outskirts. Homer is seen walking into the distance, leaving his family behind. Homer, sad. Goodbye, Springfield. I'll miss you. Cut to. The Simpsons family is seen sitting on the couch, looking dejected. 
Lisa, regretful. I wish we could have stopped Bart from strangling Dad. Marge, hopeful. We can, we can only hope that he recovers soon. Bart, determined. I'm going to become a better person. I'll make it up to Dad somehow. The family sits in silence, contemplating what has happened. Fade out. Who are you? Wait. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Dream guy explains himself. <laughs> Fade in. Oh, there's not even a title for this. Okay. EXT Donald Duck's house night. We see the outside of Donald Duck's house. All is quiet except for Donald Duck's loud snoring. INT Donald Duck's bedroom night. Donald Duck is snoring loudly in his bed. Suddenly, a loud crashing noise is heard as Doom Guy bursts through the door. Doom Guy, what's up, kid? Donald shoots out of bed, hitting his head on the ceiling and screaming in pain. Donald, who the hell are you? Doom Guy, I'm Doom Guy, and you stole from me. Donald, I didn't steal anything. Doom Guy, yes, you did. You stole my BFG 9000. Donald, I don't even know what that is. Doom Guy, it's a big gun, and I need it back. Donald, I don't have it. Doom Guy, I know you do, and I'm not leaving until I get it. Suddenly, a demon appears in the room. Demon, I heard you were looking for me. Doom Guy, pulls out his, Doom Guy pulls out his shotgun and starts firing at the demon. Donald is cowering in the corner. <laughs> Donald, what's going on? Doom Guy, it's just a demon. Don't worry about it. Oh yeah, it's just like demons happen every single day. Donald, just a demon? Doom Guy, yeah, I deal with these guys all the time. Donald looks amazed as Doom Guy continues to fight off the demon. Donald, wow, you're really good at this. Doom Guy, thanks. Now where's my BFG? Donald, I told you, I don't have it. Suddenly, Bugs Bunny appears in the room. Bugs Bunny, what's going on here, Doc? Ah, uh, Chad GPT should have said, what's up, Doc? <laughs> Doom Guy, this guy stole my BFG and won't give it back. Bugs Bunny, oh, that's not very nice. Doom Guy, no, it's not. Bugs Bunny, well, I happen to know where it is. Doom Guy, really? Bugs Bunny, yeah, it's in Elmer Fudd's house. He stole it from you. <laughs> Doom Guy, Elmer Fudd? I should have known. Doom guy, and Bugs, Doom guy and Bugs Bunny leave the room to go to Elmer Fudd's house. Donald is left alone, still cowering in the corner. Donald, I hope they come back soon. <laughs> Fade out. Donald hopes they come back soon, but he was just he's, he's just cowering in the corner. This is something with Star Wars where Darth Vader constantly gets pantsed. <laughs> Darth Vader stands tall and menacing, surrounded by a group of Stormtroopers. Stormtrooper 1 to Stormtrooper 2. Let's start a riot. Uh, Stormtrooper 2, st skeptical. What are you talking about? Stormtrooper 1, excitedly. Well, we'll pan Darth Vader when he's not looking. The other Stormtroopers look at each other, unsure of what to do. Darth Vader angrily. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> Stormtrooper 1, suddenly nervous. Uh, nothing, my lord. Darth Vader grimly. You were planning something. Speak up. Stormtrooper 2. Hesitantly, he... We were talking about pantsing you, my lord. <laughs> Darth Vader's eyes narrow, and he takes a look. He takes a menacing step towards the stormtroopers. Who, towards the stormtrooper who spoke up. Darth Vader, angrily. That is unacceptable behavior. You will be punished. Stop. The stormtrooper begins to back away, but Darth Vader's grip on the force is too strong. He reaches out with his hand, and the stormtrooper begins to choke. Stormtrooper 1. Struggling to breathe, Grant grimly. Your actions have consequences. With, with a final exertion of force power, the stormtrooper falls to the ground. Unconscious. The other stormtroopers stand in silence, looking at each other nervously. Darth Vader, calmly. Anyone else care to join him? The stormtrooper. Oh, network here. Oh, okay. Title Love in the Trailer Park. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Fade in. The trailer park is a mess as usual and the residents are going about their business. Suddenly, Mr. Lee stumbles into the scene, clearly drunk as hell. Bubbles. Bubbles, who has been finishing up his shed, notices Leahy's drunkenness and shakes his head disapprovingly. However, his love for Leahy is too strong to ignore, so he approaches him. Bubbles. Hey, Mr. Leahy, you all right? Leahy. Bubbles, my old friend. Of course, I'm all right. I'm always all right. Bubbles sighs and looks at Leahy with concern. Meanwhile, Ricky is watching from a distance, looking smitten with Bubbles. Ricky. Look at Bubbles, man. He's just so damn cute. <laughs> Randy, I know Ricky, but you know who's cuter? Me. Ricky rolls his eyes and takes a cheeseburger from Randy's hand. Yeah. Randy, hey, that's my cheeseburger. Give it back. Ricky walks away munching on the cheeseburger. Randy becomes enraged and starts chasing after him. Meanwhile, Julian is watching the scene from his trailer and getting jealous of Bubbles' attention towards Leahy. Julian, what the hell is Bubbles doing with Leahy? I need to get in there. <laughs> Julian storms over to Bubbles and they start to argue about their feelings towards Leahy. Bubbles, I love him, Julian. You don't understand. <laughs> Julian, I understand perfectly, Bubbles. I love him too. You need to step aside. <laughs> Bubbles and Julian continue to argue, and Ricky watches from afar, daydreaming about Bubbles. <laughs> fade out, fade in. Later that evening, Leahy is passed out drunk in his trailer, and Bubbles is watching over him. Ricky, Ricky sneaks in and entraps their tender moment. Ricky, hey Bubbles, can I talk to you for a sec? Bubbles, what is it, Ricky? Ricky, I just want you to know that I think you're a great man. I really like you. Bubbles looks surprised and flattered. Bubbles, thanks Ricky, that means a lot. Suddenly Randy bursts in, still angry about his cheeseburger. <laughs> That's it Ricky, I've had enough of you stealing my food. Ricky rolls, his <laughs> Ricky rolls his eyes and tries to ignore Randy, but Randy won't let it go. Bubbles and Julian continue to argue in the background, but nobody pays attention to them. Fade out, fade in. The next day, everything is back to normal in the trailer park. Leigh is stumbling around drunk. Bubbles is fixing up his shed and Ricky is working on his car. However, there's a noticeable tension in the air between Rob Bubbles and Julian. Bubbles, I'm sorry, Julian. I shouldn't have fought with you about Leigh. Julian, it's okay, Bubbles. We can share him. <laughs> Bubbles looks surprised and Julian winks at him. <laughs> Ricky, hey guys, what's up? Bubbles, nothing, Ricky. Just trying to figure things out. Randy, and I'm still mad about my cheeseburger. Everyone laughs in the camera. <laughs> Everyone laughs and the camera zooms out, showing the chaos and love in the trailer park. Ah, look the love in the trailer park. <laughs> yeah, the love in the trailer park. Pirates of the Caribbean is flaunting that he has. That he has the jar of dirt. In his hands, from Davy Jones, still flaunting, still flaunting the jar of dirt. Wait, Jack starts using. <laughs> Jack starts using meme terms like like get wrecked, loser, and take the hell. The jar of dirt with the with the heart in it. Jerry Jones starts getting increasingly angry, and suddenly, uh, I don't know what Davy Jones should do. And suddenly. <laughs> he gets he starts getting increasingly angry and suddenly Alt Fade in EXT ship deck day <clears throat> Captain Jack Sparrow is holding a jar of dirt with a heart inside it and taunting Davy Jones. Jack Sparrow, while flaunting the jar of dirt. Ha ah, look what I have, Davy. Have the jar of dirt with your precious heart inside. Get rack loser. 
Davy Jones angrily. Captain Sparrow, you've gone too far. Jack Sparrow continues the continues the taunt. Take the L, Davy. Take the L. Davy Jones becomes more and more obligated to Jack. Alec agitated as Jack continues to flood the jar of dirt. Davy Jones shouting, That's it. I've had enough of this. Suddenly, Davy Jones <laughs> reaches for his keyboard and hits Alt F4. Jack Sparrow, confused. Wait, what just happened? The ship suddenly starts shaking as the sea around them becomes stormy. Jack Sparrow realizing, Oh no, Davy Jones rage quit. He's using his admin powers to mess with the game. <laughs> The ship is thrown around by the storm and the crew struggles to keep it afloat. Jack Sparrow yelling, Hang on, mateys. We need to weather this storm. The the crew pulls together and manages to keep the ship from sinking. Jack Sparrow to the crew. All right, we need to find another way to get the heart. Ideas? The crew starts brainstorming while Jack looks at the stormy sea. Deep in thought. Fade out. Okay, wait, I want to do something like that again. The scene opens with Bert and Ernie lying on beach towels with sunglasses on, soaking up the sun. Bert. Ah, what a beautiful day. I'm gonna get so tan today. Ernie, me too, Bert. The sunshine feels great. All of a sudden, Big Bird swoops down from the sky, landing right between Bert and Ernie, blocking their sunlight. Bert, hey, I was using that to get tanned. Big Bird, laughing. And what are you gonna do about it, Pip Squeak? Bert looks annoyed as Big Bird sits on his face, blocking the sunlight even more. Big Bird. How you like them apples? Bert, struggling to breathe. Get off me, Big Bird. Ernie, running in fear. I'm out of here. I don't want to get sat on by Big Bird next. Big Bird chuckles. Oh, come on, guys. I'm just having fun. <laughs> Bert struggles to push Big Bird off of him. But Big Bird is too strong. Bert, okay, okay, you win, Big Bird. Just gotta get off of me now. Big Bird hops off of Bert and stands beside him. Big Bird, sorry about that, guys. I just wanted to play a little joke. Yeah, hey, play a little prank. Maybe suffocate you a little. <laughs> Bert, well, next time, how about asking before you plop on someone's face? Ernie, peeking back. Is it safe to come back now? <laughs> Big Bird, <laughs> smiling. Of course, Ernie. I promise not to sit on anyone else's face today. <laughs> Keyword today. <laughs> Everyone laughs as they settle back down on their peach towels. Enjoying the sunshine. Ernie. Hey, Bert. Do you think we could get Big Bird to give us a piggyback ride later? Bert. Smiling. Sure, Ernie. As long as he doesn't sit in our faces again. <laughs> uh, the scene opens with Bert and Ernie snuggled up in sleeping bags on the floor of Big Bird's cozy nest in the treehouse. Bert. Yawning. I'm so glad we decided to have a sleepover with Big Bird tonight. Ernie. Yeah, me too. It's fun to spend time with our feathery friend. As soon as the clock strikes midnight, Big Bird suddenly jumps up from his nest. His eyes glazed over. Big Bird, speaking in a strange voice. I must pick up Bird and Ernie and throw them out the window. Bird and Ernie look at each other in confusion. In confusion is fear and fear as Big Bird grabs them and tosses them out the window. The two friends come running back into the nest, slightly scared and a bit angry. Bert, what was that for? In a cute voice. <laughs> Ernie. Yeah, Big Bird, you scared us. Big Bird laughing. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I just had a sudden spell. Don't worry, I, don't, I won't throw you again. Bert and Ernie exchange a look, unsure if they can trust Big Bird's words, but they decide to let it go and move on. Ernie, well, now that we're back in the nest, I'm, glad, I'm, I'm getting a little hungry. Big Bird, do you have any snacks? Big Bird, smiling. Sure thing, Ernie. How about a sandwich? That's not even what I, that's not even what I wrote. I wrote that Big Bird made a sandwich for himself, not for Ernie. <laughs> anyway, Bert and Ernie nod in agreement as Big Bird starts to make sandwiches. They all enjoy their late night snack, forget, forgetting about the scary incident that happened just moments ago. Bert, smiling. Thanks for having us over, Big Bird. This has been a lot of fun. Ernie, yeah, we should do this again sometime. Big Bird, grinning. Anytime, guys. It's always great to spend time with my best buds. The three friends settle back in their sleeping bag, ready for a peaceful night's sleep. Bert, yawning. Good night, guys. Ernie, sweet dreams. Big Bird chuckles. Good night, Bert and Ernie. See you in the morning. <clears throat> Opening shot of Sesame Street with the Sesame Street theme music playing in the background. Cut to Bert and Ernie's bedroom. 
It's nighttime and Bert and Ernie are getting ready for bed. Bert yawning. Oh boy, I'm tired. Time for bed, Ernie. Ernie also yawning. Yeah, me too, Bert. They both climb into bed and turn off the light. Cut to the next morning. Ernie, waking up and sniffing. Ew, what is this? Bert, half asleep. Oh, sorry, Ernie. I didn't go to the washroom. <laughs> Ernie, shocked. Well, you should have gone to the bathroom, and Bert, instead of doing that here. I am very ashamed of you. Bert, suddenly fully awake. What? What did I do? Ernie, disgusted. You know what you did, Bert. You did it right here in my bed. Bert, confused. I don't remember doing anything, Ernie. Ernie, exasperated. Ugh, you passed gas, Bert. You farted in my bed and it smells awful. Bert, embarrassed. Oh, sorry, Ernie, I didn't mean to. Sometimes these things just happen. Ernie, still disgusted. Well, you should have gone to the bathroom if he's tried to hold it in. Bert, apologetic. You're right, Ernie. I should have been more considerate. I'll try to be better next time. Ernie, accepting Bert's apology. Okay, Bert, just please try to be more aware next time. Bert, nodding. I will, Ernie. Cut to Elmo walking by outside. Where the hell did Elmo come out of this? Elmo. Elmo, noticing the smell. Phew, what's that smell? Bert, sheepishly. Ah, sorry, Elmo. That was me. Elmo giggling. Oh, Bert. Silly Bert. Ernie, joining in on the laughter. Yeah, silly Bert. Bert and Ernie share a laugh and then get up to start their day. Closing shot of Sesame Street with the Sesame Street theme music playing in the background. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was hilarious. <laughs>